Hello, and welcome back to our little mini-series on Microsoft Dynamics 365 Marketing. Today, I'm going to be covering marketing forms. Let's jump into Dynamics 365 Marketing and see what they look like. So right now, I'm in D365 Marketing in the Marketing Forms area. I have pre-created a form, a Contact Us form, for LedgeView Partners. Let's take a look at it. These form editors are going to look very familiar inside of here. Um, if you looked at our, if you watched our little mini series on emails, you would see that the editor is very, very similar to that. So right now, um, like I mentioned, we are in the marketing forms. And let's just kind of look at what types of forms you can have. Right now, this is classified as a landing page. This is what most of your forms will be. But we can also do a subscription center if, you know, again, if you for your emails, if you have multiple different ones that you want them to opt in or opt out of, you can create a form for that. You have forward to a friend, and then you have event registration. There is an event module um, within this uh, D365 marketing that you can create forms for signing up for the events. But like I mentioned, landing pages is probably the most common one. And that's what this is. So as before, I used a template inside of here. So I will just show you kind of high level what the templates look like. So here are some predefined templates that, that Microsoft provided. Um, just like with the email templates, we highly recommend that you create your own marketing form templates. You can create them. You can add filters and different criteria on them so you can find them easily. But that is a best practice that you create your own templates so that when they're starting out, the theme and everything like that is how you want it to be. But with this example, let's just take a look at here. So we just have a, a header image, leave us a message, and we have some form fields on here. So let's look over here. Notice I have first name, last name, email, phone, city, country, zip. So I'm missing the state. So let's go and add the state field to this. So I'm going to scroll down in my toolbox. And just like before, we have the different layouts that we can apply. We have our basic, basic elements that we can apply. We have some advanced elements like a CAPTCHA or a submit button or a reset button if you have a large form. Then we have this fields area. So what I'm going to do is that state is a field that's being displayed right now. So I'm just going to click on state. It gives me the nice plus signs inside of here where I want this to go. And I want this to go after the city. So I'm going to press the plus here. Um, notice that I want to have a placeholder in there to say state. And now, oops. Have the placeholder in here to say state tab, and now I can be I can be done, and the field is where I want it, and it looks the way I want it to look. Let's go back and look at those fields again. So there are some out of the box fields that come with um, your environment, so most of the demographic areas. But what you can do is that you can actually link a field to any field you have created on your account or lead record. Let's see how we can do that. So I'm gonna go into here and we can look up more fields, but what I wanna do is actually create a new field. So it's actually called a marketing form field. So I'm just gonna hit this plus sign here. And now what you do here is I'm just gonna create this called demo. And then I'm going to go here and say, what type of field type? And notice, if you know anything about dynamics, these are all the different field types that you can have on any of the entities that you use inside of your dynamics environment. For this demonstration, I'm going to keep it easy. I'm going to keep it a single line of text. But notice you can have a number, a date, a lookup, a multi-select pick list, a, just a regular pick list or an option set, two options like a yes, no, true, false type of fields. But I'm just going to keep the single line of text like I mentioned. And then depending on what the field type is, you can see what type of format you want. So this is pretty neat because a single line of text, but if I wanted a format of an email or a phone number or a URL, it will then start looking and formatting it so that you're putting in a valid email or a valid URL or a valid phone number. Now again, it doesn't verify that the number itself is valid, but the format of it will be is what it's checking. But I just want this a regular text field. And then 
this is just going to be a text box. Sometimes people have other controls that you can do based on the field type, but this one is pretty simple. But this is the powerful part right here. Now I can take this field that I call demo and link it to any field inside the contact record or any field in the lead record. And what I do here is that since I did a, a format of text, now this will give me all the different fields that are the text format, and now I can link it to any of these fields. So I'm just going to pick one at random here, so I'll say FTP site. And then on the lead form, I'll just say it's the post office box. So now, you know, I was able to create a form. Now, again, I was able to create a marketing form field from here and then link it to an existing contact or lead. In a future release of Dynamics Marketing, they are going to allow you to map it to any entity that you want to. So it's not going to be limited to contact or lead. So this forms, these marketing forms are going to be pretty powerful that you can, you know, link them to your website and then pretty much create any entity inside of your environment. Now that is coming up. That's not in this release, but in a future release that will be available. And again, um, now this field demo is available to me. If I wanted to add it in here, I just click on it. You see the plus signs and I'm just gonna say the demo sign will be before the submit. So now notice the demo box is there. I'm gonna just put the placeholder in here called this demo. And now I have my form all built. All right, so from here, if I wanted to, I can also go in and edit the HTML. So if I want to go into here and theme this or make it a very specific format, of course I can go in here and copy and paste or edit the HTML inside of here. Again, you don't have to, as you've seen, there is a nice editor that, that comes with it. I can do a preview on here. And again, this is very similar to the preview you have seen in other tools that just shows you, you know, what it looks like if you're on a desktop compared to a tablet, compared to the mobile. It's just trying to show you that, you know, does it, does it render properly as you go from a larger you know, screen to a smaller screen? And you can just test that out. Once you go live with this, then you can start applying it to your website or using it as part of your landing pages in your um, customer journeys. Um, once people are using it, there's going to be insights about it. So like I mentioned before, insights is the analytics that's inside of D365 Marketing. So anywhere you see the word insights, that's going to be collecting um, analytics or metrics. So if we just click on this insights area, you can just see, you know, how many people have submitted, you know, how many people have been updated by contacts or leads, and then um, you can see where they where they're visiting from. So again, I haven't I haven't implemented this, but once this is live and people are utilizing it, all this information gets automatically captured inside of here. All right. Well, I want to thank you today. That was a quick view of marketing forms inside of Microsoft Dynamics 365 Marketing. Uh, please come back again and view our other areas of other modules inside of D365 Marketing. Thank you.